What is the best pizza topping? We've had this discussion so many times. It's come up over and over and over again on our channel as I'm speedrunning. So we've had we've had passionate talks about pizza. I'll go through them so you guys can formulate your opinions as I go. And I'll tell you my opinions and we'll change them as they go. So it's bacon is the first one. Can you see my mouse? Bacon. Anchovy. Like a sweet bell pepper. Broccoli. I'm assuming any sort of like hard cheese like parmesan, something like that. That looks like a cherry tomato, so like a little, little bit of additional tomato on top. This is like chicken, just grilled chicken. Corn. I don't know, maybe like tuna? But it's got white on it. I'm not sure what this is. Anyone, anyone want to weigh in on this one? I think we had this issue before when we looked at this, these pictures. Seems like crab sticks. It does look like crab sticks. Surumi? The frig is surumi. Okay, surumi. It might be surumi then. Crab. Uh, aubergine. Or for you Americans, eggplant. Looks like uh, jalapenos. Mushrooms. Olives. The the cursed. The onions. We've had this. We had the onion discussion enough. Onions. Pepperoni. Pineapple. What looks like potatoes? Yeah, that's a potato. Probably like Italian sausage or sausage and like this looks like leafy greens or some sort of green. Like spinach. That's spinach. That's definitely spinach. Should we, should we go for organization? Let's do the veg first. Let's get the vegetables out of the way. The, the bell pepper. So I think a bell pepper can be good on a pizza. When you cook a bell pepper, it adds nice sweetness. I think the bell pepper adds some stuff. I wouldn't put it on every pizza. But if I was having like more of a veg veggie pizza, I'd probably add the bell pepper. I can like peppers on pizza, but not like onions. When you cook peppers, they go squishy. But a, a pepper, a squishy pepper is at least sweet. It has the like nice, has a nice sweetness to it. It takes on flavor as well. That's why you have peppers. You can have peppers raw with like hummus or something and it tastes lovely. Peppers on pizza is nice. Because if you if they under if they cook them and it's like undercooked or something, you got that crunch. But if it's overcooked, you still have that bit of sweetness. They are a bit mushy. They're not great. I prefer with them a bit of crunch. But I'm gonna put them in the good stuff. I think that they're not great. They're not every pizza. It's not on the low tier. It's not it's not so so. It I think it's a middle ground. I'd I'd take it if it was there. Broccoli. I can't say it. I think I've had Pete broccoli on a pizza once. It was okay. This isn't common around here. I think it's like you have a broccoli rab more so than just standard broccoli. I think that's the that's the go-to. I like broccoli on its own. I like broccoli with cheese. It's good. <laughs> no broccoli, disgusting. I, I I like broccoli. Broccoli with cheese, like you have broccoli and like Stilton soup, don't you? Like broccoli goes with cheese quite well i'd say it's so so the the one time i've tried it was okay and just due to the fact i know broccoli takes on saltiness really well it takes on like cheese really well it takes that it's nice broccoli's a nice vegetable to put on things i'd say that's that's the so so stuff i like broccoli but on a pizza broccoli's not going pizza we'll put it there if other things like are in this area we think broccoli doesn't belong, we can then move it down. This is this is draft one. Well, I'd rather take the pizza with broccoli on the side. Yeah, I'd probably do the same. If I was having a pizza, I'd have a little bit of broccoli with some like dressing on it or whatever, that'd be probably be nicer. A cherry tomato? That's great. You add I I'm not even waiting. You add a bit more tomato on top of a pizza. It's beautiful. A nice like fresh a fresher tomato that's Got a little caramelization on it. It's lovely. Tomatoes is great. I love a tomato on a pizza. Corn. I'm not happy with corn. Corn on a pizza. Weird. In my opinion. I don't know. I haven't had it much. I know you have it like with ham and stuff. 
It's like corn on a pizza. It's... I don't know, the texture's a bit off for me. Nacho pizza is sick. I don't think I've ever had a nacho pizza. Who puts corn on a pizza? Most likely Americans. I know America loves corn. They put corn on freaking everything, man. We're not much of a corn people. We have like corn with like like anything with mayonnaise, like tuna mayonnaise. Some people put corn in. Chicken mayonnaise, people put corn in. Corn's low tier. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put corn on a pizza. Corn is poggers, so the right stuff. Yeah, sweet sweet corn. If you have a bit of corn on its own, I, I can I can deal I can I can deal with, with some sweet corn on its own. It's not my favorite thing. But it's not bad. Corn on the cob, lovely. A bit of butter and like a nice charred corn on the cob, but that's nice eats. On a pizza, I feel like it just detracts. It's, it's not adding to the pizza. That's that's kind of where I want to go here. I, I feel like it's not adding flavor. It's not adding texture that I want. Aubergine. Never had it on a pizza. Anyone? <laughs> Anyone ever had aubergine on a pizza? I know I am. Bad? <laughs> Can I put a never had tear on you? <laughs> I, I I've never had it. Like I I don't I don't mind aubergines. It's not it's, I don't really like them too much. Yeah, it's good. That's the low stuff. We don't want that. Jalapenos. I thought I was allergic to these for a while, and again, I think that's because I was eating them with cheese, and cheese kills me. Which is funny that I'm doing a pizza tier list, but you know, pizza is pizza. I've never had an aubergine. They're okay. Like they they're not. No thing. I, I'd say for people who like spice, I like a spice, and I know a lot of people like jalapenos. They have a good flavor to them. They add heat. I'd say these are great. The, these are probably really good for people that really like spice. If you don't like spice, they're probably down here. If you really, if any sort of spice frigs you up, like if a pepperoni is a bit hot for you, they're here. I'd say, so let's put in the good stuff. They're middling, right? It depends on who you are as a person and what your, what your palate allows. Mushrooms? Oh, baby. I'm very biased. I love a mushroom. I absolutely love mushrooms. You put mushrooms on a pizza, I love it. Put mushrooms in a pasta, I love it. Mushrooms on a breakfast is, is beautiful. Mushrooms are one of my, like, favorite foods. I love them. But, again, there is a divide with mushrooms. For me, they they're like they're in one of these two categories. I'll have mushrooms on pretty much anything. I freaking love mushrooms. For a lot of people, they like down here. They can't stand the texture. They can't stand the smell. Can't stand the taste. I'm putting them on the great stuff. I I love a mushroom. Olives. Again, olives are divi uh, like divisive. I I really enjoy an olive. I, I like olives in a sandwich. I like olives on pizza. I like olives in general. I can have like a few olives as a little snack. They are... Sir Fire's right. They are powerful. What's next to mushrooms? It's like a cherry tomato. Cherry tomatoes next to mushrooms. So on top of like the normal tomato sauce, like cut up little cherry tomatoes, have them on top as well, just for that little more tomato -y sweetness. What is this? Look at this curse up here. Put that slightly down. Beautiful. You lost your mind. <laughs> I'd say olives are probably on the so-so. I think they're up here. I wouldn't put them here. But I know a lot of people hate olives. I'm putting them there. They're great with pizza. Yeah, cherry tomatoes are definitely great with pizza. Like, you have a bit of some cherry tomatoes. Or like, a really simple pizza. I wouldn't put it on there with, like, a, if you have, like, stronger flavors. Like, I, if you're having, like... A lot of meat like pepperoni or salami or something with strong flavors or spicy pizza i wouldn't put a chair like additional cherry tomatoes but you can have like pizza with very thin layer of sauce okay you know welcome italy <laughs> italians put cherry tomatoes on as well there's literally pizzas in italy that have small amounts of tomatoes on top as well and they have a tomato so they have the base like the actual dough some 
form of like like tomato sauce on there thin layer of cheese and by a layer i mean it's like usually like puddles of mozzarella basil and maybe some like chopped up like halves of cherry tomatoes on top then that's a, like that's the traditional like margarita not ma yeah margarita yeah i'm thinking <laughs> no margarita is a freaking what am i thinking of is that the same word am i crazy am i just yeah whatever you know what i mean the just typical cheese in italy i'm sure that's what it's made of like basil mozzarella like tomato halves and like a yeah it's the freaking same word whatever <laughs> onions dead to me they don't belong anyway what's that can i add add row below No, onion tier. It's onion. I don't care. I'll have this argument till I die. Onions don't belong on pizza. I absolutely love onions. I love onions on pizza. <laughs> I absolutely not not on pizza. <laughs> I love onions normally. Uh, I think bacon's the proxy. I'm gonna say bacon. Like I don't I don't bacon on pizza, but. Anyway, Gray's correct. I I really like onions. I have them in, I'll have them in a sandwich. I'll have them everywhere. Like I enjoy onions, jammy onions and burgers, adding onions and sauces. They're great. On a pizza, they're always done wrong. Always done wrong. You chop up an onion and you just put it on a pizza. What are you, what are you gonna do? It's gonna steam. It's gonna be like that. It's gonna lose its flavor because it's steaming. And then it's just going to be like almost soggy. Not great. Cheese and onion is fantastic. But raw onion with cheese and onion. Or if you have like a cheese and onion melt where the onion doesn't cook enough. Where's mayo on the tier list? You can freaking just... Mayo doesn't belong on pizza at all. Pepperoni, it's right there. I'm not doing this yet, but you know where it's going. Pineapple. <laughs> we'll come back to the onions. We'll, we'll come back to the onions. Otherwise, we'll be here all day speaking about onions, okay? Pineapple. It, it's, it's, you know, we know well, that's going to be a discussion. What's this? Spinach? Spinach is, spinach is good. Spinach is good. All right. Like it, spinach is a good pizza topping. You can chop it up, put it right in the sauce. You can add a little bit of it. It's brilliant. Like spinach is nice. It's got good health benefits. It's tasty. It's a nice green to have on there. I'd say it's a good stuff. Let's discuss pineapple. If you pineapple below tomatoes, you're a pineapple stan. We have pineapple stands in the actual audience. So I've had pineapple on pizza twice in my life. Once, accidentally, we ordered a pizza, they gave us the wrong one. And when we asked, do you want it back? They said no. So I was like, okay, let me, uh, let me try this. It was ham and pineapple. It wasn't the worst thing I've had. I, after like a slice, I think I had like a slice and I was like, I, I agree it was too sweet. Pineapple is very sweet as a fruit. And I like... I like more s salty, savory stuff. Pizza Hawaii... Hawaii pizza is the best pizza, don't at me. Holy hell. Now that's... That's a controversial opinion. I say just for the actual sheer goal of it still existing, it should be in the so-so stuff. Like, some people think it should be the onion tier. Some people think it should be in the right stuff. I reckon it just goes here. Just plonks right right next to these guys. I'd say it's... It was inoffensive when I had it, but it wasn't to my tastes. I could see why people would love it. 
if they like that extra sweetness to contradict the saltiness. And I can see why some people would absolutely hate it. Because it's just not like it's it's that division of pizza love, really. I'm gonna put in the so so, you do what you will. That's kind of where this is. This is the uh, like you could probably take it like if you like it, you like it. It's up there. Potato, weird. Potato's weird. I've ne who here has seen potato on a pizza? I haven't. Never even heard of it. This tier list is odd. Potato on a pizza. Like, it's just bizarre. Like, you have this carb loaded base, very stodgy. Then you have what? Like, a, a bunch of tomato on top of it. And then what? Freaking potato? You can be full by slice one. You gotta, like, slice two. You're like, Bleh. All right, I'm just gonna read what Rush said then because the sentence isn't English. Nobody knows what those words mean. Just not a uh, not a sentence in the English language there. Construction a bit off. I've never seen potato on pizza even though it's my type of thing. I just, I didn't know it was a thing. Like, pine, like all of these I've seen. Well, except for one other thing, but you know. It's just, it's a pineapple, a poggy fruit. I like pineapples a fruit. Generally, pineapple normally is fine. But when you cook it, <laughs> and yeah, obviously in Hawaii, it's a big thing. Like in Hawaii, you have, um, they have like pineapple, you have pineapple cut it up and you like sprinkle some salt on it. And it's apparently a really nice treat there. What about tomato? Weirdly, I'm not a fan of tomato. <laughs> like outside of pizza and like like tomato sauces i'm not i wouldn't have like just tomatoes but it's because when you cook something the flavor the texture it all changes like, i'm not i'm not a fan of a lot of these things raw i wouldn't eat random raw pieces you know of bacon <laughs> but when cooked it's pretty palatable pickles glass and I think Gray mentioned pickles before. Sorry, I forgot. Pickles, I would appreciate on a pizza. I love pickles. I love pickled, love pickled gherkins. Love like normal pickles. Love pickled onions of many varieties. I love a pickle. I I wouldn't mind it. I wouldn't mind it at all. I, d I can't say I've had it, so I may be wrong. But from what I I love pickles and. Like, I love them normally, but again, I like some of these stuff normally. I don't really appreciate them on pizza. We'll come across that when we do some stuff later. But I like pickles. Pickles with, like, in a sandwich. I have, like, pickle, ham, mustard sandwich. Mwah! That's a beautiful sandwich. I've never had it on a pizza. Maybe I should try it. Where, do we, where did we land on potatoes? I have no idea. I've never heard of it, never seen anyone who does it. Should we just put it in so-so? Because it's, it's a potato. It can't be bad, right? Like, pot potato can't be bad. It, it's probably not great. It's a potato. I can't imagine it's going to be bad. I've never really ate it. But, you know. Yeah, it's the vanilla of food. You're completely right. Potato's not good on pizza. Ugh. It's just... Um, all right, let's do cheese. This is Parmesan. Yeah, there, there we go. Yeah, like fries. Yeah, I suppose like uh, these might be home fries, if I'm going to be honest. Or like, is that what they're called? In America, home fries, when you like cube potatoes, you fry them up. Like home fries. I, I think that's something they do. But yeah, you're right. Like a lot of people have um, pizza with chips or fries, you know? I can't imagine it's going to be bad. It's it's freaking cheese. It's Parmesan. Like, it, it's... It is essence of pizza. It's freaking Parmesan. <laughs> like, if I put that anywhere else, it's just an insult. Rice? That's not freaking rice. Am I crazy? 
That's cheese. Unless you're looking somewhere else and I'm an insane person. <laughs> Okay. Parmesan? Yes. So far the list is looking kind of where I want it. I'll probably move some stuff around. We'll come back to the onion tier. Bacon. We'll also, for bacon, we'll put bacon or ham. Wait, stop asking for mayo. You realize there's no sauces on this? It's toppings? Mayo would be a freaking sauce. You haven't got, we haven't got like tomato in here. We haven't got barbecue. You don't got freaking mayo either. <laughs> no, it's a topping. Fair enough. It's a topping. There is no, it's cherry tomato. You don't got tomato sauce. You don't got like a passata or anything in there. You just got the, the whole tomato. Ham slash bacon. It's good. It's good stuff, right? Like ham, again, it's inoffensive. <laughs> it's inoffensive it's pretty tasty if done well i've had one really good ham pizza ever and that was when i was that's from america every time i have ham over here it's usually just like kind of bland but literally the pizza i had in america i was six years old and i can still remember it that's how good that pizza was <laughs> So, it's not over tomorrow. Ham is there. Anchovies. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll leave the seafood for last. Anchovies and I think crab. Chicken. Okay, we'll, we'll bump ham the great, okay? We'll put chicken on, on the good stuff, though. Ham, I can appreciate. Ham or bacon, salty, adds flavor. Maybe add some smokiness, adds that. A little bit more, you know? Chicken. If this was spicy chicken, I'd bump it up. Plain, just grilled chicken. Mmm. Not the best, man. It, it doesn't add enough flavor. Like, it's, it's there. It exists on the pizza. It's good. Like, there's nothing wrong with eating chicken. It's okay. But it's just not. It's the chicken. Chicken is right here. He's parking up. This is a chuck. This is a grilled chicken. Now this is grilled chicken, my dude. But yeah, this is. I. It's not. It's. It's not so so. It's good. Like a chicken. You have chicken on pizza. It's good. You know. You're not gonna be upset if you have chicken on pizza. I eat chicken on pizza, but it's not like oh my god, yes, chicken on pizza, plain chicken on pizza. Give me a spicy chicken. Yes, give me something like teriyaki or anything. Ash is the only person on earth who's neutral on pineapple. It's okay. <laughs> like, it's not great. I'd never have it, but I wouldn't say... If someone gave me a Hawaiian pizza, I'd still eat it. Um, It's freaking pepperoni, man. It's pepperoni. Like even if like even if I didn't like it, it's everywhere. In like America and Canada, we like we have like cheese pizza as like the default. That's plain. Pepperoni in like America, Canada, and a lot of other places in the world. Pepperoni is the default. That is the plain pizza. It has pepperoni on it. It's universal. Like <laughs> like pepperoni is there. A pepperoni pizza is basically the default pizza you eat. It's that good. It's that wide, widespread. I don't know if like we can we can put sausage slash salami. I suppose like there's no like salami on here. Yeah, when you think of pizza, anytime you look at pizza, right? What's like the default images? Either a nice cheese pizza or pepperoni. That's kind of the default images. It is just pizza. That's what. That's what it is. Sausage weird on pizza i i love sausage right i love like like a smoked sausage love hot dogs love sausage with a roast dinner like uh, it's it's great guide back to the pizza tea list we're doing we're actually doing the full pizza tea list yeah we're doing it
pepperoni and salami is sausage. Yes, but this is like a different kind of sausage, right? Cured sausage. Whereas this is like a is, is a different type. It's like a, I don't know, a Cumberland or something. Different types of sausage. So I think this, again, I wouldn't be a fan. If there was sausage on the pizza, I'd be okay with it. Wouldn't, wouldn't say it's great. Would I prefer these over it. But I think it's just the texture's a bit weird. I think it's the often too chunky. Wait, you get a pizza, then dip it in ketchup. No. It's <laughs> integrated. What are pizza ba mayo base for pizza? That sounds disgusting. Mayo base for pizza is too much. It's, it's too much mayonnaise. You have like, you have a normal pizza and a little tub of mayo on the side. Probably I'll give it a dip. Cold slaw with a pizza. Oh, it's beautiful. It's delicious. It's nice, like, you know, whatever freaking cold slaw is cabbage salad or something. It's lovely. But yeah, I want to have a freaking mayo thing. Well, I, I, I had a pesto pizza. Like, I had pesto as the base, which was lovely. Barbecue base is a pira. One of my, Barbecue base is my least favorite base. Too sweet. It's ridiculously sweet. Don't like it. Can't eat like it's it's overly sweet. People say our oh, barbecue chicken pizza is great. It's like it's really sweet. I has all you could taste is like sweet barbecue flavor. It's like no. I think they do in London they do marmite pizza. They literally have the base. They have marmite as a base with cheese on top of it. I'd try that and I would love that. I gotta try it. it what is Marmite? Yeast extract? Look it up, it's like a black tar. That tastes delicious. Is that the thing the bear likes? I think you're thinking of Paddington and, and uh, Marmalade. Pretty much. <laughs> Yeah, that bit. He likes marmalade. Like orange marmalade. And he likes it in sandwiches. Okay, so we're down to the fish. Anchovies I love. They're delicious. But they are very strong. <laughs> um Marmalade's very Marmalade's very strong. Anchovies very strong on a pizza. <laughs> I thought that was steak. No, it's anchovies. I, I've had it, I like it. I love anchovies in a lot of things. I have anchovies in pasta. Um, but I, I can appreciate why people wouldn't. I'm going to put that in so-so. Not a lot of people have even tasted it. Because they just wouldn't, right? A seafood pizza, a lot of people's like, Ugh, Seafood pizza? Surprisingly good if you like fish. If you don't like fish, you won't eat it. Anchovies mean good, but sometimes they don't wash them. All you have in your mouth is a spoonful of salt. Yes, so they can be overly salty if not prepared correctly. Which, it, it's always an issue. Like, if things are not prepared correctly, oftentimes they're bad. Anchovies do have the, the thing to tip in one way, you know, not be great. But overall, I kind of like the anchovy. Like, I'd, I'd put it, like, probably in the good stuff. I wouldn't put it up here. But I'd say this is a nice placement for it. And finally, this looks like crab sticks or just crab on a pizza. I, I never had it. No idea. The crab... Crab's weird. Has anyone had crab on a pizza here? I I haven't. It's like the potatoes. Never even heard of this. I thought this was like tuna. Now, I Again, don't get me wrong. Freaking love crab sticks. Oh, I love crab. Delicious. Crab on a pizza? Never tried it. It feels weird. Crab sticks on a pizza? Weirder. So I have no idea. I've never seen crab in my life. Crab sticks are delicious. Um, I don't know where to put this. I'm going to put it in low tier. So I have no idea. 
What about eel? I've never tried eel. I know jellied eels are a very popular thing in Britain. Well, not popular, but they're very, um, they're used, I suppose. Like, people eat them. All right, let's have a look at this list then. <laughs> any adjustments? Any Anything we can... All right, before we look at the adjustments, onions, let's, let's see where we fall. I hate them on pizza. I think they belong here. Some people think they belong up here. I could argue for here. Let's put them here. We'll, we'll, eat, the, we'll eat this list. Delete row. I swear to God I haven't gone for being symmetrical. Turns out there's just a lot more like average-ish toppings than there, than there is on like the top. I'd say I'm pretty happy with this. I know a couple of people are disagreeing with like the tomatoes, maybe the olive placements. Pineapple is just, you know, whatever. And like some of these, I'd say this is pretty good. Like if it was, this isn't my, if it was my personal one, it wasn't where I think it should belong. This would be very different. Like I'd probably move some things around. Mushies would be up here. Olives would be right up here. But I, I appreciate what people think of them that's where i've kind of placed this this is the definitive tier list and yeah it's pretty good I, I'd, I'd say i'm happy with this i'd have to try a few of these like potato on pizza feels weird but i could try it crab on pizza again i'd give it a go I'm not sure how well it'd go down but i'd definitely give that one a go i'm pretty happy this is a nice this is a nice tier list.